Well, many cattlemen across the United States are still trying to recover from one of the most severe droughts on record. Some parts of the country are starting to see a little moisture. Joining me in the studio to talk about what kind of weather we can expect the rest of the year is Don Day Jr., president and meteorologist of Day Weather Incorporated. Thanks so much for coming to the show. Thanks for having me. Well, first of all, begin with your perspective on these weather patterns we've seen over the last 18 months or so. Well, we've really seen some contrast. Uh, 12, 18 months ago, we were having some really good precipitation in most areas of the country, some great snowpacks. Then we hit late 2011, and, and we know 2012. Mm -hmm. We've seen some big changes in the weather patterns, especially in the Pacific, which really had a big impact on 2012 to cause or was a big factor in our drought. Well, and is there any scientific explanation or reason for this terrible drought? Well, one thing we were learning, and we're learning this uh, each year a little bit better, is that the Pacific Ocean is critical, especially for the western and central areas of the United States. When the Pacific is cold, we tend to be dry in the west, the southwest, and the central part of the United States. Well, I think we call that La Nina. Mm -hmm. So anytime cattlemen hear a La Nina is coming, odds are that's going to be dry. And when we put a couple of La Ninas together, we can get really dry. Yeah. That's what we've seen here developing. So we're hoping 2013, 2014, that the Pacific gets a little bit warmer. And we are seeing a break, it seems. I mean, there's been some moisture, at least in some parts of the country. Do you think this is going to put a dent in, in the drought we've been experiencing? Small dents. Okay. Uh, I think we're definitely seeing some help. There are portions of Kansas, portions of southern, central, eastern Nebraska that have really uh, seen some benefit, as well as eastern Colorado. We're going to see that trend continue in April, and I think May as well. Um, it's not not going to get everybody. So there's going to be some winners and some losers out there, but we're looking at a better situation right now at this time than we were a year ago. That's really good news. And so what can we expect as you project out over the next six, eight months of 2013? Well, a little bit of good news, a little bit of bad news. Okay. So I'll do the bad news first. The bad news is 2013 is not the year we're going to go back and say that's the year we broke the drought. Mm. We're still going to have some challenges, especially in the Southern Rockies, and into the southern plains, southern Colorado, New Mexico, west Texas, the desert southwest, still see some dry problems there. But I do see a pattern developing that is, while it's going to be a little bit warmer than normal and a little drier than normal in still areas, it will not reach the severity of 2012. That is good news. And where can cattlemen go for weekly updates uh, on, on the weather? A great place to go is beef, beefusa.org. A great place to go. There will be weekly weather updates and a little bit of insight oh, as well on what you can expect. Very good. Well, thank you so much for coming to the show, and uh, we'll look forward to having you back again. Thanks for having me. For more information on Day Weather Incorporated or more on how the weather is affecting beef producers, just log on to our website at cattlemantocattlemen.org.